we know what happened from a fossil excavated in the Badlands of Kansas by Charles Sternberg's son, George. Mr. Sternberg, I uh, called from the newspaper. A lot of talk about what you found out here. Glad you could come. Well, thank you. Caught a pretty big fish here. What is it exactly? This is a 13-foot Xyphactinus, but there's more to it. As I went through digging out the fossil, I noticed something beneath the ribs. I found some vertebrae, kept on going. Turned out to be an entire animal inside. The victim was a six-foot fish called a gillicus. Such a mouthful that swallowing it killed the Xyphactinus, a prehistoric victim of gluttony. Weeks pass, and the dollies are now far from any shore, venturing into a sea turned magical by night. Microscopic plankton give off an eerie glow. Under cover of darkness, the encodus rest, not quite sleeping. The dollies keep their eyes trained for predators. And one is about to change their lives. There's hundreds of shark's teeth here. After a long day hunting fossils, two amateur collectors unearth the wealth of shark's teeth. So many have been found around the world that it's clear sharks were thriving during the age of the sea monsters. The Cretaxi rhina is as big and lethal as the great white of our day. It slices its victims into bite-sized chunks using razor-sharp teeth. There is evidence from a Dutch quarry that ancient sharks fed on even the largest marine reptiles, leaving tooth marks on their bones. but it's their mother who becomes the target. Their mother is gone, but it isn't over. A smaller shark goes after the young female. She's wounded, 
but she survives the initial charge. Perhaps the shark was not as lucky. Her injury will heal, though she'll always carry a shark's tooth embedded in her flipper. The two youngsters must now continue on their own. If the female and her brother are going to survive, they'll have to find food and their way in this vast inland sea. Finally, they see something familiar. A school of encoders, trailed by other dollies. And by the flightless Hesperornis. But nearly anything in the sea 